Hello Capricorn and welcome to your Find Your Soulmate reading for this week. Alright, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, check out my blog link below in the description box. Uh, it's got all my reading information, including prices, or you can send me an email. The email address is below too. And um, let me know what kind of reading you're into and I'll, I'll have a little um, chat with you and we can work out what what's best for you. All right, so how to prepare for your soulmate. How does my gorgeous Capricorns prepare for their soulmate? How does Capricorn prepare for their soulmate spirit? How can Capricorn prepare for their soulmate? How can Capricorn prepare for their soulmate? Thank you. Leap of faith. Whoa. So your person is already probably with you and you need to take a risk to go towards them because they, they are your true desire, your heart's desire. So you need to take action to go towards them, Capricorn, so you can actually go to them, all right? It could be travel. You need to take a risk and travel to them or you need to take a risk and ask them out, actually go up to them. Let them know how you feel. What is stopping you, Capricorn? Divine passion. Ooh. Maybe your your feelings are so intense and you don't know if you can control that inner wisdom. Following that inner guide that you feel something for this person. Staying bold, okay? Being strong through this process. Guiding children, okay? Could be that you're a parent. Or could be that, you know, you've got responsibilities uh, that are standing in your way like I don't have time I can't find a way I just don't know how to tear away from my responsibilities day to day okay quiet time so you know your responsibilities make you spend a lot of time alone in contemplation sorceress it's time to take control of your life start manifesting what you you're visualizing bodies of water spend time in streams or rivers or around oceans also bodies of water indicates emotion so perhaps uh, release your emotions or or let people know how you feel about them all right what are your soulmates obstacles capricorn what are capricorn's soulmates obstacles what are Capricorn's soulmates obstacles, Spirit? What are Capricorn's soulmates obstacles? What are Capricorn's soulmates obstacles? What are Capricorn's soulmates obstacles? Another elaborate story. Okay? True love. You've got you've got divine passion. What's stopping you? Your person's got true love. So this is really, really beautiful. What is a sharing? Oh my God, an undying love. That's crazy. So this is twin flames. You've got divine passion, true love, and undying love. That's crazy. So your soulmate's obstacles are looking for a true love that's lasting forever and ever. Your soulmate is looking for someone forever, okay? They're looking for the real deal, and that's you because you're looking. But perhaps you're really focused on the passion, uh, which might come across as a bit shallow, even though it's not. But some people might be like, you just want my body. Or, you know, uh, I'm sure the guys will be really flattered <laughs> to the ladies out there. But I'm just saying, you know, uh, for the guys out there, that's what some people might consider, you know. But I'm just saying it doesn't have to be that. It could just be a very, very strong, intense connection that you're feeling very attracted and your person is just really wanting the love and, and the emotion, okay? And then we've got infinite supply, needing to know that this is going to be long-lasting. This is something forever. Mother Earth, here she is again. She's been with a lot of my signs. Uh, the last three readings, I think she wasn't in there, but now she's come back. Mother Earth, indicating environmentalism, being a really strong link in humanity, a uh, really strong link in the chain throughout time to pave the ways for generations to come so that the earth is beautiful and clean and we can take care of you know what what we have around us okay that's a really strong message i know very deep but <laughs> these cards are deep cards 
and then we've got fertility indicating that things are abundant and growing so it's, it's it could be about um, horticulture taking care of the the literal earth the environment the soil the plants the trees you know because he got fertility you got a star up which is coming in september um for the um southern hemisphere uh oh yeah southern hemisphere september the 20th to the 23rd and in the northern hemisphere it's the um march 20th to the 23rd so yeah that's a time of planting and a time of growth and a time of bunny rabbits and and things having babies um so yeah it could be that that's the time that you and your soulmate will meet or you know see each other or something along it could be it doesn't have to be just saying all right how to find each other how does my gorgeous capricorns find their soulmates how does capricorn find their soulmates how can Capricorn find their soulmates? Easy does it, the arts. Okay, so focusing on meditation. Creative, uh, creati creative stress release. Okay, no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is in occurring in perfect timing. And here we have um, the arts express yourself through creative activities. So this could be meditation, yoga, Pilates, Reiki. This could be, you know, some kind of holistic therapy, focusing on, on this energy system or chakras, meridians. Could be, you know, tapping for stress release. You tap your, uh, just below your collarbones, I think it is. Um, three times and you say what you're trying to release and there's different pressure points around the body that that help you to release things I don't know <laughs> just some information spirit wants me to get out there so yeah it's um how to find each other you got some creative uh, activities that spirit is guiding you to do um, that will help you to find your soulmate uh, maybe your soulmates into yoga and you're thinking about starting and then it's like let's let's do this and then you meet your soulmate at, at the Pilates class or something like that or the you know there might be your piano tutor or something learn some djembe do some um, tribal beats all right, so when you find each other, what will happen? Start delegating. So asking your person to help you. So that's really interesting because I just said tutoring and, and learning some kind of arts. So it could be that this person will be your yoga instructor. <laughs> Might be. Just saying that was the theme. So yeah, start delegating, asking for help. Like, by the way, how do I do this again? And, uh, oh my gosh, you know, it's like she's in a lotus flower. Yeah. Yeah, just like, there you go. What will happen? You will be asking your, your soulmate to guide you or to help you. Or you'll be, you know, ask, telling them about things in life that stress you out maybe and they're going to be an excellent ear to listen to you and broad shoulders to hear you out. And it'll be like, wow, you know, this person really listens. They really get me. They really understand what I'm about. And it'll be a gateway to opening feelings. All right, let me know how this resonates, Capricorn. I send you love, peace and light always. Bye for now.